This biometric card is what you will need to have in order to authenticate your identity. This card will include details like your photograph, fingerprints of all the ten fingers, iris if the government decides in favor of it, and the unique identity number. That there would be not only the photograph which would be as per international standards, but also the biometrics which would also be collected as per international standards. So this makes it a unique uh, venture which has not been attempted on this scale of a 1.2 billion uh, population. To get a better sense of inclusive growth, the government will also be asking questions relating to the use of banking, mobile and internet usage. The government has no intention of opening the Pandora's box by going in for a caste-based census. According to the government, there is no way of authenticating the caste of individuals besides what he or she claims. The government is also apprehensive that the number of reservation seekers may see a steep rise which the government may not be able to accommodate. The census itself is not going to conduct the caste and I think, uh, let me be at least in one sense blunt, I think in the future, I think you have to go into a casteless society in India. You have to make it, you know, it's going to be. It. This census will cover 1.2 billion citizens. The census will lead into the creation of the National Population Register database, helping in making of the biometric cards for citizens above the age of 15 years. The database will then be passed on to Unique Identification Authority, which will generate unique identification numbers for every citizen. All this is expected to be completed by the end of this year. This massive census exercise will culminate into the issuance of biometric card, which will also have the unique identity number. For every citizen, this card will be a must in order to be recognized by the government and institutions of this country. Amritan Shurai, Bloomberg UTV, Delhi.